welcome to Antopia USA. For most of you who remember us as Myrmidon Nation, some things have changed. We have recently started a website where the USDA has permitted us to ship and sell to many Western states. And with that comes the change of the name. So please join us for this ride and hopefully we can provide you with the best information possible. In this episode, we are going to review a new nest by Tar Heel Ants. It is called The Lair. We will also be reviewing an Outworld that we purchased to go along with this. As you can see, Tar Heel Ants goes above and beyond when it comes to packaging. This is something very important. Us shipping lots of queens and colonies all around the place, it can get a little rough out there. So as you can see, this nest here is very well made and uh, it actually stood out a lot more to me in person than in the pictures and it's fine detail and other features like that. It's got a good amount of nest space. You can see it's got two water towers. Here's gonna be where you fill the water tower and then a port for a nest mate or to connect to the outworld. Also a port here, nest mate for the outworld and a place to fill that water tower. see here it creates kind of an overhang for the repletes to hang in one of the deeper chambers and the same with the other side as well Each Tar Heel nest when purchased comes with a bag of accessories. As you'll see here, it's got a nest mate, a blunt tip syringe, and a plug for the nest mate. And this time it came with tubing to connect to the outworld. Now this port can be used to connect to the outworld or also hold a nest mate. This here is a nest mate. You fill liquid inside it and plug the open end. This can be used for water or carbohydrates. As you see here, it fits snugly. No ants would escape around the gaps on the side because there is none. Now, since the nest mates are optional, all Tar Heel nests come with plug inserts as well for closing off the holes you are not using. And then here we have a blunt tip syringe used for filling up the water towers. As you can see, it's not sharp on top, totally safe to use.
still look super cool. As you'll see on the top here, it's got two mesh openings for airflow. And then it's gonna have a port here to connect to any Tar Heel ant nest. Tons of space if you wanna fill a test tube with drinking water and liquid feeders. And right here, you just connect your tubing to the nest and there you have it. Now this option is gonna be a separate outworld if you just wanted to give an extra one or add it to an existing nest that did not come with an outworld or have one. Here we'll give you a closer look at the layer, which is basically divided up of four or five different chambers. You have your two spaces above the water tower, your two deeper chambers to the both outer sides of the nest, and then you have two chambers in the center that are gonna be higher up closer to the glass. And this will give you a good humidity gradient throughout the nest. And as you can see here, plenty of room in this outworld for all kinds of accessories that you might need. Colony that we have chosen for this nest, and it is a two queen true polygynous Myrmecocystis mendax. They had an impressive first generation of workers hatch, and they still have quite a bit of brood. So, we chose this nest as a good founding nest, and we'll see how long it lasts them and how they do in it. Some tools I use is a paintbrush, I'll use the blunt tip syringe, and I'll use this aspirator. All three are going to be used to collect brood, move the queen or workers to where you need her, and the aspirator could be to suck out any type of eggs or workers from the test tube that you can't get out first go. Here, I'll slide the glass back to give me access to the nest chambers. Remove the cotton from the test tube. Gently angle it in towards the deepest chamber and just barely tap. Now in doing this, be careful not to create a big enough gap between the tube and the nest that the queen could possibly get smashed in between. All gentle taps. Anyone I can't get out with gentle taps. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I would do. As you can see here, there's a worker still inside the tube. It's actually a freshly closed nanitic. I'm gonna go ahead and use my aspirator, get her out very gently. I'll remove the glass again, and then I'll tap her into the nest to join her sisters. Now everyone's in their new home. The last step in my process is to fill the water towers. I don't like to do this beforehand in case there's any jostling around. You don't oversaturate the nest by mistake. Thank you guys for watching this episode and we will be doing regular uploads every few weeks from here on out. And remember to check out the website www.antopiausa.com for any of your queens, colonies, or accessory needs. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.